Hey guys and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm gonna take a quick look at the new patch notes for Save the World. I'm gonna not going over everything. If you wanna read it I will post the link down in the description so you can check it out yourself. So what's new? We're gonna get a new challenge. Challenge number 3. A new wave holiday. Where there's one there's more. Each wave of enemy contains all of the same types. Uh, defeat enough of the same type of enemy to unlock the new waves Probably with that I mean physical, fire, water, nature That kind of type of enemies you get a certain amount of number as a quest You have to complete that so you can get on to the next wave Ice King and Ice Queen uh, Ice King they have already in the Battle Royale official version and the Ice Queen you can get through the weekly Frost Knight challenge. And the Ice King you can get from the event store with gold. Then we got the missions and systems. Here you can see the Frost Knight challenge, new wave holiday. Enemy waves send a large horde of the same enemy type at you. Players need to eliminate a specific number of enemies. Of that type to progress to the next wave like I said uh, before then the rewards that you can get the challenge banner 3 ice queen outlander and snowflakes tickets then the 40 days of frost night is no longer available then they added a power level 128 zone in the frost night for the end game player so that's really nice I'm not an end game player myself yet but it will be nice that they are gonna do something for the end game players so they can keep on playing and grinding. It's nice. This zone will be available to players who have reached the end of Twine Peaks. Earn a new reward banner for completing all 30 ways of Frost Knight in a 128 power level zone. What they have done is increase the XP gold and ticket rewards, especially at later waves. Uh, to make them um, to make the su survival time longer so the longer you survive the more gold the more XP and more ticket rewards you will get then they have uh, replaced a transform key as schematic rewards with perk up and reperk in higher difficulty frost night zones change uh, which storms uh, storm shield defense quest unlock the frost night zones so players could see more approximately leveled zones. Then the bug fixes. They fixed the delivery bomb mission. Uh, I heard a lot of people had trouble with that. So they have fixed that one. Then refill the home bay mission. Now have a chance to spawn elemental and mutant storm mission alerts. Uh, fix play with other custom option to work for players with a higher power ratings Then the other bug fix that I'm really happy about is fix an issue where a menu would not unlock in the main menu preventing players from progressing towards the storyline That was a really big one because we didn't have collection book squads uh, Upgrades etc etc. We didn't have anything nothing were unlocked then they have fixed a lot more things. They updated the survivor squad manage screen to hide the cycle squad buttons when only one squad is unlocked. Um, disable the ev evolution uh, uh, confirmation button when hovering over evolution options that are disabled. Uh, let's see, is there something else that we can talk about? The rocket launcher and grenade launcher visual effects were updated to be more performant. Husk that effects. Were updated to be more performant and fix an issue where the effect were not probably playing. They improved the appearance of Frog on the Xbox One. Then Heroes, the Ice King will be available in the event store. It will be a legendary variant of the Hotfixer subclass. To be available today. And the Ice Queen is available as a week 3 Frost Knight Challenge uh, quest reward. Legendary variant of the Striker subclass. And each hero will be un unique when the new hero lo loadout launches. Uh, any hero that had damage resistant perks convert to armor perks in the 
version 7.1 update is enabled for an item reset. If you choose the reset, a hero will return to uh, level 1 and all the XP, XP and evolution materials invested into the hero will be refunded. But this reset option will be forfeited if any new resources are inv uh, invested in the hero uh, or if the hero is slotted into the collection book. They have fixed the Outlander um, Llama Fragment ability. Um, it didn't fall down on his knees, now it will. Probably, I hope. Um, then the Reperk for... Um, Players can get a full refund of all XP, evolution materials and perk up invested when recycling, retiring or transforming, transforming an item that undergoes a submissive balan balance or design change. But it doesn't include re-perks spent to change one perk into another, so that perk up you won't get back. Uh, this doesn't include flux spent to increase the rarity of an item, so you won't get your um, epic or legendary flux back. This option becomes available when a schematic hero or other item undergoes a significant balance or design change. Those items then will be tagged as ineligible for reset and refund. They have increased the repurked or rewards from the following researchers. Resources. Jesus. Sorry. Mission rewards a 67%. Perk catches a 67%. Mission alert a 50, uh, 54, uh, 5 percent uh, they, they reduce the reaper cost for changing non-elemental perks by 40%. Uh, that, that that is so important because you want energy on your weapon most of the time maybe on some items you want physical but energy is the best then they have fixed some other things fix an issue where solid square had static default perk rolls and uh, the candy corn LNG now has forced feedback when firing and I think there w that was the most important things. Uh, remove holiday skins from husk lovers, foils and husk skins. So we're gonna get everything as normal. But yeah, this were the patch notes. Um, I hope you learned something from it. Understand it. At least I do. But yeah, this was the video. And I hope I will see you guys at the next one. Smoke weed every day. Hold up,